Okay, this is Sheila. It's 2018 and I'm taking us back to 2001 in May when I did my second interview with a nurse uh, who participated in my MSc study of caring for the confused orthopaedic patient following surgery. This is um, Jane, who's um, my second interview. Um, so I've decided to keep the recordings um, for posterity and they might come in use for others in the future. The recording will be a little bit crackly and I'm not quite sure how it's going to work out, but here we go. Um, and it Because 
we have a lot large elderly population. That's right, anyway. Western's population is growing. Yeah. You know, then of yeah. yeah. course now yeah. we're yeah. You know, then of yeah. yeah. course now yeah. we're yeah. coming into holiday season. Yeah. Plus so a retirement resort. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And also from May to September you've got holiday times. People come here, spend a week on holiday, whatever. That's right. Yeah. 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 People have accidents, fall off coaches. Yeah. Slip down and they come down here. Yeah. End up in Steve Pomp. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. yeah, I mean, it, I'd say it's probably very rare not to have any patients at all that yeah. are confused. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you feel we could we give them enough care, or is it actually right, so you were going on about pressures earlier? Depends what else is going on on the ward. Um, if you ha if you happen to be on West Side, perhaps it's an off night, and yeah. there are problems, and you've got epidurals, autologous blood systems, then okay, maybe. Yeah. The then the pressures are different because your priorities have to be different. Yeah. So you've got post-op care. Post-op care. Yeah. Acute, acute post-op care. Mm. Um, that has to take precedence for obvious reasons, especially when you first come on at the start of the shift. Yeah. Um, so sometimes maybe staffing levels maybe should, you know, aren't enough. That's right. That yeah. is a problem that's been identified. Especially for trained staff, maybe. I'm not yeah. saying so much NAs or no, ACs. Yeah, because you need more training. So Working at night, yeah. as we do, you find yeah. that, don't you, sometimes? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, if everybody else is okay, fine, then you can yeah. concentrate on the postdoc. Yeah. But it's when you try to concentrate on them, yeah. and other problems occur in between. That's right. You know, which direction yeah. do you go for? You're, you're pulling your hair out yeah. at times, aren't you? Because mm. you've got all these things you've got to get done. Mm. You know, it could be half hour in the office, couldn't it? Blood transfusions. Yeah. yeah. Um, Often poorly people in cubes, mm. aren't mm. they usually? Mm. Um, and all we've got to do then is get the, the wandering confused, mm. whatever, mm. and that can create a problem. So it has been identified all over the world. This I'm sure it has, you know, and it's especially on surgical wards for some reason. Mm. Um, they get them on the medical floor, but it's a, but they the, don't, the, they the they don't they have they got the other problem. The added, the added problem. No, people you know. come in and go in. And also the fact that we've got 40 beds sometimes makes a difference. That's right. Um, it's war, isn't it? Another thing I would say that might or might not play a part, if we have empty beds, and I'm saying if we've got maybe three or four off one side and a couple the other, yeah. and there happen to be no medical beds and no surgical beds, you know, I'm, I'm talking about like urology or yeah. abdominal things, um, you know, you get added pressures as well yeah. as sometimes of having admissions as well. That's right. During the night, yeah. we happen to be the only place with beds. That's right, yeah. Um, yeah. And that can be a problem sometimes because yeah. I've asked casualty many a time if we mm. get people in, are they confused? And yeah. their answer is no. Yeah, but once but they get up on the ward, it's, yeah. it's sometimes a different story. Yeah. I and mean, I'm not saying it's anybody's fault. No, but it's a humor. But four armed. Yeah, you know what I mean? we have to prepare the bay, get people... But exactly, I mean, the move. thing is, you can't, we shouldn't be moving beds at 2 o'clock in the morning no. if the need arises to accommodate yeah. somebody that was said to be okay to be in bay 2 That's or bay right. 3. Yeah. Then you find isn't, and then, then you're having to swap people at 3 in, in the morning. At 2 and 3 in the morning. Yeah, just for um, everyone, because you might have to take exactly. someone up at 3. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, that's maybe something that needs looking at. Yeah. I mean, whether people should be assessed for confusion that's oh, that's a good in point. any yeah. before they actually get up to where they're meant to be. Yeah, yeah. Because it does cause problems sometimes. I'm sure it's not just us that has no. the same problem. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because uh, um, having an assessment might be useful for us on the war as well, mightn't it? Actually, yeah. Because some people aren't confused, but become confused. Mm. So people know what to look out for. Mm. What do you think? Yeah, mm. that's probably a good thing. Mm. Um... Yeah, so there's um, lots of different areas that people have identified that cause problems, really, mm. with confusion. A lot of day staff have got different problems. Mm. You know, if their workload's different and they've got to stay doing drug round, um, ward rounds and stuff. Mm. You know, but there are common things, I think. But on a more practical side of, of things, mm. either at least during the day, there are more pairs of hands. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, the night time, time. most of the time. Most of the time. Yeah. Compared to nights. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Um, at least if there's a problem going to arise, there's somebody you can you fall back on, for, you know, 
even if you borrow somebody from the other half of the yeah. world, they can you, you know, help me quit before so and so. Yeah. Well, we do that at night anyway because we have to. Well, we've, we've got no choice. We have to work together as a team. That's right. But you can yeah. you can end up with two on one side, can't you, Sandra? Yeah. Which is yeah. so stupid. Because mm. uh, like on West, you might have all those obs to do and things mm. like that, you know. Mm. Um. And how do you feel about things like the untrained and how they um, manage with this? problem. Do you think they need more advice? Depends how long they've been doing the job. Yeah. Some of it yeah. some it's scary for the new ones, so yeah. yeah. Some of it comes down to being able to deal with people and having yeah. those people skills. That's right. Um, yeah. The yeah. other thing comes into it's common sense. Um, yeah. if you know a little bit about the people you're looking after. Yeah. Especially if somebody is constantly asking for maybe relative or whatever. That's you know, right. You've got to know a little bit about the background of somebody. That you helps. Know, yeah. You know, I mean, you can't always reorientate them to time and place, but sometimes yeah. you can just jog their memory yeah. along. If you've, you've got, got a name, name or or someone in the family, that yeah. helps to reassure them. That, yeah. 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 Because yeah. it might not just be long-term memory that's affected. Sometimes short-term. Yeah. Memory, short-term yeah, memory quite often. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, a lot of people they have trouble remembering how many days they've been in hospital for a start. Yeah. 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 Some, it might just be two or three days. Oh, so common, isn't it? Yeah. Time and place. Really yeah. common. Mm. Um, I mean, s- some people have mentioned the fact that we could do more stuff so that when they are confused, that, you yeah. know, there's someone there perhaps just calming down or whatever. Yeah. You know. I mean, a one-to-one sometimes, if you've got lots of confused people, if you can have a couple of people based in that bay, yeah, that yeah. aren't having to run off That's to right. where to yeah. ask the bells and look yeah. after the other people, right. sometimes as a more calming. Yeah. But on the other hand, if somebody's really, really lost it, and I've, you know, I've called family in before now, okay. it's not been yeah. too late. Yeah. I mean, during the day, that's an option. Yeah. I mean, it's not so much of an option at night mm. for obvious reasons because people need their sleep and their rest. That's right, to have people coming in. But you know, sometimes that's yeah. an option to have an extra contact number for a family maybe. Yeah. But if, you know, if they've got so bad, yeah. any family can, yeah. you know, Because it's not always the answer having to get people written up for medication because that's only yeah. a long-term remedy. It, that's it, right. It doesn't solve it the doesn't, problem. It, it doesn't solve the long-term yeah. problem. It might calm things down. It might calm them. Well. It might help them have a bit of a sleep. But it's not that it's not to the problem, is it? No. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I mean, it's like with the doctors as well, isn't it? They need, they don't always, they prescribe, um, they're getting better, I think, some, but, but um, they often prescribe um, without thinking, don't they? Some of the drugs if are wrong. If you can get them to prescribe at all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. right. They, yeah. they, they don't even get the pain relief to sort it out sometimes, no, do they? But apart from that, I mean, you can tell. If you're on a run of nights, you can usually tell if somebody's starting to brew at the start of a run of two or three nights. Yeah. Or they're going to be yeah. like the third night. Yeah. Yeah. You don't see it, can't you? Yeah. I mean, if you don't get something done, yeah. sometimes, especially when all, when February or August is here and the doctors are new. That's right. Yeah. They're, they're, either, they're under pressure from having to get to know how the system works here. That's right. And get to yeah. know everybody, you know, who's who and what's what. And, yeah, care. there's a lot on board for It them. can be a problem sometimes getting yeah. them to prescribe things. Yeah, you know, yeah. Even yeah. maybe not necessarily to give all the time, but as yeah. a soft dose maybe, or, or yeah. a therapy on yeah. inside. They seem quite reluctant sometimes. Yeah. Um, and there's some, some things they could avoid putting down, didn't they? I mean, like like Tramadol for one sometimes. Tramadol. Cyclazine's funny as well on some people, isn't it? People with hearty things, cyclazine's not good for. Yeah. But yeah. Tramadol sometimes increase, increases confusion. It does, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Especially in the elderly. That's right. But Even um, Coproximal can send some, some people, people off. Some people off or codidum or something. It's knowing the patient, isn't it? And, yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah. So there's all sorts of, sorts of things. It's sometimes a good idea to have something as a backup, isn't it, really? Yeah. You don't have to use I mean, it. I'm, not, got I'm it not saying you need to use something all the time. And, and I would say we, you, we, or I tend to use either haloperidol if it's written or lorazepam. Yeah, that's really a good one. resort. Yeah, if, that's it. If you get into the point yeah. where you're thinking, <laughs> well, I think you know, safety, other well, patients. It's, it's more than safety. It's the other patients in that bay, you know, if you happen to have 
two or three people that aren't confused, A, it has an unsettling effect on everybody. Yeah. And B, sleep is important to everybody anyway. That's However, right. yeah. it's mostly enough, isn't it? We get up early. early. You know, to have your sleep disturbed night after night yeah. is enough yeah. to make you feel suicidal. Yeah. Um, and the other side of the coin is if things are getting really hairy and you're thinking, well, hang on, should I be phoning, phoning security? Because I've done that before. Yeah, now. oh, we all have, haven't we? Somebody's getting really, really aggressive. Yeah. And we can't, you know, yeah. we've all been attacked, haven't we? Right? Yeah. And sister, yeah. I just think, well, I, you've got to get security up so right. I can get another measure, yeah. you know, to try and calm you've the down. the other patients. And your, own, and your own safety to be thought about. That's right, yeah. You know? Yeah, and the st other staff, and the other patients. And the other patients, you know, things yeah. like that. Yeah, mm. sometimes you have to take those measures, but like those are extreme ones, aren't yeah. they? But it does happen. It does happen. I mean, you can have a bay. Sometimes the t both the bay ones, but you get them all yeah, at the same time, don't you? Yeah. It's almost like a, in fact, it's like a disease. disease. It's like a ripple effect. It's it not in one corner and works its way round. <laughs> I mean, the other week we had, um, I think it was on East, and there was just in four of them. Even maybe five, and they were all in conversation, but not with each other. It sounded like they were. Um, but they're yeah, in a way. Separate, separate. Yeah. yeah. I know. It's yeah. funny, isn't it? How it goes like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, of course, I mean, it's, it's an acute environment we work in, isn't it? And, um, uh, you know, a lot of people feel, not just you know, all over the place, that not enough provision is made for them. You know, mm. but it's thinking how, how to provide yeah. it in that sort of environment. I mean, the other thing, the other side of the coin is whether we've actually got enough practical equipment. I mean, I'm talking, yeah. I'm thinking now about things like hot sides. Uh, I mean, yeah, there, are, there are some instances where you've got to actually go and hunt round on the other beds. That's right. You've got somebody that's becoming confused. Yeah. Or that's come in confused. Yeah. And you've, yeah. you've then got to look at the other people that have got hot sides on the bed and make a choice. Yeah. Who's the most... Who, you know, who's most in need of them. Who's in need of the cot sides. Yeah. Um, that's maybe, that, I'm, you know, maybe that needs to be looked at. Yeah. Yeah, maybe on, maybe on the rare occasion also when somebody's very, very confused yeah. and aggressive, bordering on the violent side, you've actually only got one pair of padded, padded cot sides. Mm. What happens yeah. if, you need, if you have two people at the same time in different mm. areas? Mm. I mean, we've made the blankets before, haven't we? Wrapped yeah. them over the side. But that's, but that's, that's, you know, that's another mm. thing, you know, whether we need another set mm. of padded cot sides. Mm. I mean, we've only got one set between 40 beds. We should have at least two, one for each team, anyway. Well, yeah, yeah. Mm. That's a good point, really, yeah. And also some of the bed tables and things, um, they can be dangerous. You know, the bed tables? Yeah, the bed, you know, the tables that go over the bed, you know, the bed. Oh, them, yeah. yeah. They could be dangerous sometimes. Mm. It doesn't take much if somebody's confused to shove a table at you. That's right, yeah. The bed goes everywhere, well, you know. I was nearly hit on the head with a glass bottle of lemon bar the other night. Oh, actually, they locked it. Actually, I thought there was a notice, actually. She got rid of glass bottles now. They're not supposed to be selling glass bottles. No, that was lemon barley. It just missed me. It mm. brushed my shoulder. Mm. He went. Funny. And the other, the other thing is, it's just occurred to me, if you've got sensible people in the same bay as confused people, yeah, the question of security and keeping their own things in their locker, that's right, yeah, safe from somebody else that might think that another patient's locker is theirs. Yeah, but well, he did. Uh, they get in bed with other people, didn't they? Mm. Well, mm. well, that last week. Um, I mean, that can be a problem sometimes, especially if people have gone off the ward for other investigations, such as x-ray, or they're in theatre, perhaps. Mm. And it's not all the time you've got, you, could, you can turn around and see. Um, can't be everywhere. Yeah, yeah. somebody's about to go in somebody else's mm. locker. Mm. Um, well, I haven't thought they should have locks. Hmm. Keys, something, lock them up. Because those drawers are quite easy to open. Mm. And the cupboards. Yeah. Oh, see, so you've got cubicles, but it's not always safe to put them to these persons in there. No, it's not, no, it. because you can't see. It's only really cubicle two on west that you can see from the nurse's station. Mm. 
And the other two cubicles, the other side of the nurses' station, you can't see not really, unless, unless you're left by the x-ray machine. Um, unless you go and stand there yeah. by the end of the desk. Yeah. And, yeah. and you can't always you can't always shut the door either and pull the curtain because you can't then you can't hear. No. Sometimes right. Sometimes the first sign of trouble is hearing what they're up to or, right. what they're, or what they're saying. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So there is a problem from that point of view. Where to put them? Sometimes they might actually be better off in a quiet room where they can have a light on if they want or mm. they're disturbing other patients at night. Mm. Sometimes it can work, but like say, you think we always seem to need the cubicles for other reasons. That's right, that's, you know, and things like that. Yeah. I mean, before now we've taken them down the day room. If we've had, say, the a staff on, haven't we, and, uh, and let someone sit with them in the day room, yeah. Yeah. you know, sometimes that works, but then that's taken a member of staff off the ward. Yeah. I mean, after all, you know, people are confused, they come into hospital, we're strangers. 
there's nobody they know. Um, they're taken out of the environment, wherever they've come yeah. from, whether it's residential home, um, yeah, yeah. EMI home, whether they they live at home and somebody else cares for them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whether we should be able to involve families more. Yeah. I mean, a lot of old people have actually got this terrible fear of hospitals, haven't they, from yeah. the past? Yeah. It's got bad associations. Yeah. Well, I'm not telling you, I'm not accepting the box. Right. But I've heard that.